Hi guys, in this video, I'll teach you how you can find your winning product. Hi guys, Tony here and I am here to teach you everything you need to know about money. Money hacks, money tricks, tips, investing, saving, lahat ng alam ko ituturo ko sa inyo. So don't forget to click the subscribe button and the like button and yung doorbell sign dyan para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos ko. Yes, nagpagupit na po ako. Thank God. Back to normal haircut. And I have been getting a lot of messages lately asking me about my suppliers. If you have missed that video, I'll link it here and dito pa sa baba. And if you're one of those who have asked, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate and I hope I have helped you find your perfect suppliers. And if you need any help in your online business, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll try to answer as much as I can. And I have noticed that a lot of you were asking me about some items na gusto nyong bilhin in bulk in China. I have recommended na to start your online journey first by testing your products and focus on getting the perfect product for your store. Wag po muna tayong magbili ng napakaraming items and believe me when I say this because I have a lot of <laughs> stock items here. I'm thinking about giving it away but let me know down in the comments below if you want it. I'll be more than happy to give it to you guys. And I want to point out that when you are starting on your online business, I want you guys to remember that you only need one to two winning products para magboom yung business nyo. If you don't believe me, it's right here. I'll show you the sales that I have had. Um, this is just for a couple of months, the past year. Isa, oh, okay, dalawang produkto lang po ito. I only focused on two items. And this is from my online store. And I have stopped my online store. I am now selling via Lazada and Shopee. And so far, this is the sales that I have had this month. This month pa lang to. And I am only selling one product. You don't really need a lot of products to start. I want you guys to focus on just sourcing the perfect one product, one to two products for your online business. Hayaan nyo, pag medyo nag-boom na yung uh, product na yun, medyo gumagalaw na, you can start sourcing other products na nagtitrend or feeling mong bibenta. Okay? So if you need help in building your own online business, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll try to help you as much as I can. PM me on Instagram or Twitter and I'll try to respond as much as I can as well. Okay? Kung kailangan nyo ng guide, kung kailangan nyo help in sourcing the perfect product for your store, I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. It's my way of saying thank you na lang for watching. Let's get started with how you can find your winning products in this video. Okay guys, now there are two ways on how you can get started with finding your perfect and best and number one winning product. If you have missed my earlier video about getting the right niches for your brand or for your website, I'll link them dito sa taas and dito po sa baba sa description box. And if you have find that niche already, ito na po yung susunod, finding the best product for your online store. Now, first things first, I've also featured this website. I use this as my own as well to use this to source mga creative items na pwede kong, uh, you know, hanapin kung baka wala pa sa Philippines or kung meron. So, Thieve.co is a website from the US na kinocurate nila or kinocompa nila yung mga pinakamagandang mga products na pwede mong i-consider. Let's see here. So let's try this uh, COVID essentials. Take note lang na when we do this finding products, it might not work if you are planning to sell to Shopee or Lazada. Ang napansin ko kasi is people are already asking for my China suppliers and they wanted to order in bulk. But Wait lang jaan, kasi kapag nag-order ka in bulk, syempre ko consider mo yung kung mabibenta ba talaga siya. Kung hit ba talaga siya. So before you dive into getting a lot of products, and believe me, I have made this mistake, is to first test the product. Okay, itetest mo na natin yung product bago mo masasabing winning product siya. How do we test that product? I'll teach you right now. This looks interesting. 
for the wallpaper soap. I have already explained about AliExpress. Dito yung usually pinupuntahan ng tao when they want to source products. And again, if you are just starting out, I would recommend you to not buy in bulk. First, try it first. And if you are buying in bulk, diretso na po kayo sa Shopee. Kasi parang dumidiretso na rin kayo sa China nun eh. Nakaka-free shipping pa kayo and points discount. But if you are really, really buying in thousands, in hundred thousands, dun lang po kayo dumiretso kay Alibaba kasi hindi na kaya ni Shopee yung mga ganun. If you are just again trying out the product, go to Shopee first. But if you are already decided, if hit na hit na po talaga yung item and gusto mo ikaw lang talaga ang pinaka nagkakare nito, tsaka lang po kayo dumiretso kay Alibaba. AliExpress is just for research. Okay, so let's try to search for that portable paper soap. Wala yung exactong item na yun, but I think this is this looks better. But merong ibang mga klasing ganon, like this one. It's only twelve dollars. Oh, twelve pesos. Sorry, pesos. But I think this is twenty pieces. Okay, if I am correct, this is seventeen pesos for twenty pieces. Ah, twenty pieces na laman ng loob bata to. Tayo malilito sa mga ganon. I think this looks better than the first one. Forty-seven pesos to 78 depende sa klase. Let's try to find this in Shopee. Again, we're just testing products kung magiging hit siya. Ano, products. Try natin tanggalin yung iba. Yan. Wala yung exactong item na yun, pero I think this is it. Yeah, ito din yung nakita natin. So, 40 pesos, 80 pesos. Medyo mahal. This is it, I think. Yes. Nope. Iba yung itsura. So, let's try just paper soap. Paper soup. Yeah, nine pesos. Compare mo sa kaninang seventeen. Pero sure, may shipping fee pa yan from China. Even if you buy in bulk, na bibigyan ka ng super mega discount. That close ten pesos. Pero maganda yung case. That's what I'm talking about. You can source your first products muna dito si Shopee just to test it out kung okay sa kanila. How do you filter this ba? Let's say this one. This looks better. Ito pa yung isang lesson natin is when you're looking for products make sure it doesn't look cheap para kahit na ibenta mo siya ng mas mataas hindi ka mamamablema. 63 pesos. May discount pag bumili ka ng mas marami. Of course, free shipping. This is from China, I believe. Pag mga ganyan yung mga names nila from China yan for sure. Para ka na rin dumiretso sa China. Let's try to see the reviews. Mukhang okay naman din tong supplier na to. So if you want to try this on your store, um, you can sell it. But again, like I said, since we're looking for it sa Shopee or Lazada na direct supplier, I would recommend you selling this on your personal Facebook page or your website. So if you are considering to create your website, I have done a video about that. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Budget ko lang around 5,000 pesos or less than pa nga. And you don't have to get a designer for it. You can do it yourself. I have already done a video about that. I'll link it everywhere. And if you want a guide on how you can create your own website, please let me know down in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Create your own website via Shopify. If you're gonna do this, Please don't sell on Lazada and Shopee. You're just wasting your money. You're just wasting your time. Again, if you're gonna sell this, make sure you sell it on your personal page. And make sure to market it better. What do I mean by this? P bakit? Bakit kailangan sariling website? Bakit kailangan Facebook page? So let's try to find this exact product at 10 pesos, 9 pesos sa, sa, sa Google. Let's try to find shops na nagbebenta talaga nito. Let's say portable soap. Sheets, okay, plus, let's just plus Shopify. Ito yung mga gumawa ng stores using Shopify. See, meron. Let's see how much they are selling. This one, they sell it for $9 for one piece. This is $9.99. So that's how much? $9.99 USD to peso is 500 pesos for a 9 peso thing. So again, that's why I'm telling you to open up a website or sell it sa personal store nyo is because um, hindi makikita ng ibang tao yung competitor mo. Okay? Medyo pa sa Facebook pero again, that's why I'm pushing it sa site mo to drive your customers to your website. Pag na-drive mo na yung customers mo sa website mo, hindi na sila makakahanap ng iba pang competitors mo. Okay? So, ayan o, oh, may mga bumili. Comment then. Pwede namang hindi ganun kamahal mo ibenta kahit mga 50 pesos. Malaking kita na rin yun. But of course, you have to compute 
shipping fee, bayad mo sa website yung commission ni Shopify when you sell it. I will teach about that if you want me to. Just let me know down in the comments below. Ito yung one way of finding your perfect product to sell. And that's how you should do it. Na first, find your niche. And then find your whatever you want to sell na creative. Another point I want to stress out is if you are looking for a winning product, make sure na okay siyang ibenta. What do I mean? Marami siyang sales. Yung kaninang paper soap. If you can see, 752. Pwede na. 3,000 sold. So, ibig sabihin mabenta siya. Well, it's because it's 9 pesos. But still, kung ibibenta mo siya, mabenta siya. So, kahit mga 100 pesos mo siyang ibenta, 200, it's your call. That's how you find the best product. The second part of this is, paano ka nga ba successfully na makakabenta sa Shopee or sa Lazada is, like me, I create my own product. You create something na wala pa in offer sa Shopee and Lazada. How do we do this? There's actually two ways. First, kung gusto mo talagang ibenta tong soap na to, why not Create like a COVID starter pack. Gumawa na si Thief ng COVID essentials. Why not pair it with, I don't know, 25 disposable masks? Pair with portable paper soaps? Instead of 9 plus, I don't know, 25 pesos, gawin mong uh, 150 for the pack. Pwede mo na siyang ibenta sa Shopee. Why? Kasi wala pang nag-offer na ganong combo. That's a good idea. I might do it. But I won't do it because I'm focusing on my own product. So don't worry. I won't do it. But that's an idea for you. you want face mask with a bag with, I don't know, the soap. Diba? I mean, this cloth washable filter face mask with a uh, face mask bag with a portable soap with, I don't know, um, ano pa bang meron dito? Thermometer. You can... <laughs> up the price into 500 to 1,000 depending kung magkano man yung makita mong item na yun sa supplier, sa Shopee or Lazada, ba? So, find something na wala pa sa Shopee and Lazada but it's only when I can assure that you will get sales sa Shopee and Lazada mo. Pero, if you're gonna focus on just these products, isang portable um, soap na meron ng binibenta na iba na galing pang China na 9 pesos lang, tas Pipilite mong magbenta din, kukuha ka ng supplier, tas ang benta sa'yo mga 5 pesos, ang tubo mo is magkaro lang. Paano na yung shipping fee? Lugi ka na. It's not a good investment. It's not a good way on selling a product if your margins are too low. That's how you should think about selling when you plan to sell in Shopee or Lazada kasi ang daming nagtatanong sa akin pero ang gusto nilang place kung saan sila magbibenta is through Shopee and Lazada and not really their website. That's the best way I can think of na makakabenta ka ng profitable without actually thinking about competition. Siyempre, ang daming-dami ng bagong sellers ngayon. Believe me, ang dami nang nag-message sa akin and it's all about how you package or how you present your products to the customers. The more you add value to your products, the more people will buy. Let's keep that in mind. If you're gonna do this bundle thing naman, try to test it first. So order like five pieces, order like a few stocks, package it, and then um, try to sell it. If it sells a lot, and then that's when you order more sa supplier mo. Okay, so test your products first. And then, when you find your winning product, that's when you boom. Next way, kung gusto mo talaga magbenta sa Shopee and Lazada is to find inspirations na wala pa nga sa Shopee and Lazada. Again, I can't stress that out too much because some people are just saying to me na gusto nilang magbenta ng clothes. I want to sell accessories. I want to sell this. I want to sell that. Ang naiisip ko lang, yes, I can give you my suppliers, but up to what point can I help you? Gusto ko rin naman maging successful kayo sa business nyo. If you're just gonna look for a supplier and then sell whatever you see dito sa Shopee and Lazada, it defeats the purpose of selling high. Unless talagang quality na mapuprove mo sa kanila ng pinaka-best ako dito kasi pinaka-original ako, pero not because you're using China suppliers as well. Hope you get that point. And one more place that I really, really like to browse during my free time is this website called Etsy. Ita nyo naman ang madalas ko na pinipindot. Okay, find the things you love. Support independent sellers on Etsy. This Etsy is for the US market. And syempre, nandito lang tayo para kumuha ng inspiration. 
and what we're looking for here is really something creative na again wala pa sa Shopee and Lazada. Okay, so that's how you find your best or winning products. That's how you play with it. And if again, I would recommend you to try it first. You are doing your website, do some ads first and kung nag-click, ako actually hindi na ako nag ads Bahala na si Lazada, bahala na si Shopee na mag-promote ng products ko and I just get whatever sale I get. And I'm happy that it's really moving. Test your products first, don't buy a lot first. And if na click yung product mo, if na click yung package mo, that's when you start buying a whole bunch just to be assured na mabibenta mo siya agad. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope na may natutunan naman kayo sa mga pinagsasabi ko. And I hope you find the best or the winning product for your online business. And if you need help, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you want a quick shout out on my next video, please let me know down in the comments below. I hope you follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!